You look so cute, Zoe. Ven, dame tu manito. Vamos, papá, ¿qué? latte small okay. and can I also have a chicken croissant the chicken bacon croissant okay. and that'll be all thank you Hey guys, welcome, welcome to a, a day, day with, with us. us. If you guys are here for the first time, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below. Also click that bell notification button so you're notified every time we post we'll a new, new video because you don't want to miss out. So the little mini um, morning vlog that I filmed today with Zoe ended basically at Danny coming home from work. Zoe was napping and I left back to the park to spend time with the Lord. Normally that's what I do. Like in the mornings, like I'll go and I'll park at the park and I'll read my Bible in the park and just like have my alone time with God. Um, but today since Danny was at work, I did take Zoe to the park with me and instead of reading my Bible, I ended up late with her. <laughs> so, um, so I took advantage of that me. Danny, you know, came home. Zoe's a, has been a handful lately. Like she's yeah, watching people she's, touch everything, go everywhere. She's growing up way too fast, y'all. There was another little girl at the park, so she was like chasing the little girl around. She wanted to copy her, she wanted to go down the slide. So I couldn't like sit there and read my Bible and like, you know, watch her play. Because usually there's no one at the park, but today happened to be another little girl so she wanted to play and that was okay with me because i that was my first time like actually playing with her like at the park that was her first time going on the slide and everything so it is much later <laughs> zoe's already in bed we all have dinner and we put zoe to bed like around nine o'clock yeah it was like 9 20. we usually we put her to bed usually a little bit earlier like around 8 30 28 30 around there but she was definitely like fussing and not wanting to go to sleep but as soon as we always pray for her right before we put her to bed and as soon as we do that she was already like falling asleep in her shoulder as we were walking her to her bed i definitely want to do a video on how we got her to sleep in her own room because you guys don't know that but zoe actually sleeps in her own room now oh yeah we transitioned her from our room into her it's room it's been like what like a month already no it's been maybe yeah. a month so. There's no way. That is crazy. So December 23rd was her first night sleeping in her own room. Wow, time flies up. Well, I definitely want to do a video on how we got her to sleep in her own room, basically the method that we followed and how that went and how it's going. But we are gonna take advantage that Zoe is in bed and this is this is when we can really do our video so it's yeah like when she's when sleeping she's or napping, napping because <laughs> she's gonna want to be all and she like, loves the camera like we don't mind but then you know we have the camera on the tripod mm -hmm. and then she's always trying to touch the tripod and the camera moves and it gets out of focus and <laughs> and then if not then she starts complaining and it just doesn't work out Same. for the video when these type of videos mm -hmm. but other type of videos you know she she'll be in there and she sure. loves the camera like she's not one of those babies that shy away from the camera like she sees the camera and she like smiling tries to grab it yeah. um so she 
she loves the camera um but yeah we want to take advantage that she's sleeping and answer some of you guys' questions that i've been getting on instagram about my second pregnancy so i did make a post on instagram um to ask me questions on um you know anything like you want to know on my second pregnancy you pick the best ones and i picked the best ones <laughs> okay. and i already had a lot of moms like previously asking me like in my dms like you know what's my birthing plan and just like questions like that you want to read them sure okay so first question i took screenshots you're going to give birth naturally in the big tub again question mark okay that was literally one of the most asked questions okay at first i'll kind of like on the fence, like if I wanted to do it in the birthing home again and do it in the water, or if I wanted to do it in the hospital, I was going back and forth and I wasn't 100% sure until I was about, I wanna say like three or four months pregnant. Um, and that's because I called the place that I gave birth with, um, that I gave birth to Zoe at, and they no longer took my insurance. So I was gonna have to pay out of pocket, which I wouldn't have mind, but I had already kind of been wanting to like no, be more But not only hospital. that, but there was, there was, no, you, you had already made up your mind. There was another location that okay, would have yeah, been like 45 it. minutes, 50 minutes away, which I didn't mind doing the drive or, or, and or why not. That's fine. Um, and I told her about it, which did take our insurance, but she still didn't want to do it. They say that the second time around, the baby comes quicker. So and it says easier. I, I really just didn't want to risk it. One, I kind of want medication this time around. Like, I don't want to go the natural route just because I already experienced that. You know, I always tell moms, like, you can do it. You're 100% you're capable of doing it. Our bodies are literally made for it. Um, if I did it, you can do it. Um, but really, I just didn't want to go through the pain again. I don't want to go through that pain again. So, <laughs> long explanation short, I am going to be giving birth at the hospital. And... I kind of want to do epidural. It's not 100% set in stone. I will decide that once we get there. That's the good thing about being in the hospital. You can decide whether you want to go natural or if you want to go medicated on the spot. Like you don't have to ha you know, have your mind made up. This question is actually for me. And this is a funny one. So how is her mood different from this time around versus when she was pregnant with Zoe? The juicy question. Because when I was pregnant with Zoe, I hated so, Zoe's guts. <laughs> yeah, she hated me completely. Um, she hate you completely. You know, she, she hated me on completely. My nerves. Uh, I think it was a lot to do with her not being used to being pregnant and being, you know, rushed with all those um, hormones. hormones. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but I have a feeling that, you know, Zoe being a girl, being pregnant with a girl, there's, I don't know the science to it, but there's probably a lot more hormones flushing through her body or, you know, everywhere versus now that she's used to it pregnant with a boy i think that this is going a lot more smoother <laughs> just seeing like your entire pregnancy in general it's like it looks like a lot better like a lot less like complaining a lot less like um just pain overall that i've seen you like be like in. i think that that also has to do yeah. with like me already being a mom so i'm already taking care of zoe all the time so my mind is kind of occupied 24 7 so i I, like I say yeah, it all the time, I forget true. that I'm pregnant unless like a baby kicks or yeah, that's true. I don't know. Like I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh wow, my swimming's huge. But like I'm I'm just on the go so much that it's kind of easy to forget yeah. that I'm pregnant. The next question is, do you have a name for him already? Yes. And the name is confidential. Yes, we do. We're have not a gonna name. say yet, um, just because we want to hold on to it. Because one, it's not like. It's like 90% set in stone, but it's not 100% set yeah, in stone. Yeah, that's so true. And even if it was, we would like to wait until later on, much later on, to say the name. Did you notice any difference in the way that your belly grew or looks? Oh, yeah. With Zoe, my belly, like, kind of grew outward. It was, like, wider and, like, yeah. round. And then with the boy, my belly grows straight forward. Straight forward. So it's like a lot more narrow, it sticks out more. Hers, uh, Zoe, was like a lot wider here, and it, and it went down, and it drooped down more. This one is like high, and, and I guess like narrow. Like narrow, yeah. So this is me at 23 weeks. And, I and it's got bigger a big too. old basketball. Oh yeah, it grew way bigger. Like, I think I was like one or two months, and my belly was already huge. And I think it has a lot to do with muscle memory. So my body was already like Maybe. remembered me being pregnant so I just kind of super fast yeah second time around my belly grew like overnight basically next question is simple one due date and nursery thing um so it's gonna be 
late April, early May. But it would be cool if it's May 6th because that's my birthday and that would be pretty cool. Yeah, it's your birthday with the baby. Yeah. So let's see. So that will be comes. the that'll be the greatest birthday present that I have had. So Zoe life. did come three weeks earlier yeah. than her due date. So they said that this time around the baby comes sooner. So if she came three weeks then nursery theme, I want to go for a nude theme so kind of like you I, you I have i don't even know what theme you're going for oh well i'm announcing it too it's like gonna be like nudes and like more neutrals animal theme okay next question are you going to try and breastfeed or are you doing formula i know the answer to this one. Oh yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna do breastfeed 100 percent um with zoe i did breastfeed i didn't do formula i breastfed her for a whole year except i didn't ex breastfeed i exclusively pumped so i pumped yeah. for an entire year and i gave her bottles of breast milk and that was a lot of work having to carry yeah. around the pump with me everywhere. I mean, Danny, Danny experienced everything, having to um, find containers to bring the milk in and like make sure it stays fresh and bring the bottles and all that stuff. That was a pain in the butt. So this, so time, this around, time around, I'm yeah. gonna make sure that that little boy latches onto the booby because you can take a booby everywhere you go and you don't have to bring extra stuff and I can just like. What about cravings? So with Zoe, I craved sweets all the time and with the boy I'm craving salty all the time so really? completely different yeah oh yeah that, that is right mm -hmm. that's true because yeah. I'm not a sweet I'm not a big sweet so would you say that that's accurate then or do they say that the whole like yeah sweets is like so that's girl. been accurate for me so for a boy it's salty for girl it's sweet so the next question are you gonna get extra help now that you will have two kids to take care of bro if we get help honestly praise the Lord that's gonna be like a miracle because I don't know I mean most of our family lives far away and um, you know the family that that's we have here they, they have like they have their they have their lives you know that they have stuff that they do they mm -hmm. have their busy schedules so definitely I feel like this time around I'm going to have more help with Danny obviously if my grandma comes down and comes to help that would be awesome but I'm not really like expecting anyone to help me. So Danny has been home a lot more often now that he has his own business. So that's been helping a lot. So I know he's going to be there to be an extra pair of hands to help, you know, because yeah. it's, it's going to be... It's a blessing, honestly. It's going to be a very new process. and Because I wasn't here different. most of the time. Yeah, and with Zoe, he was literally... You were literally never here. I was almost here. never, yeah. I was seeing you know, Zoe on FaceTime so. just as much as I was seeing her in person. Yeah. So definitely this time around, Danny's gonna be more present because yeah. his um, schedule is more flexible. on his terms, more flexible. So we're very blessed to say that. So that's a life update. Danny started his own business. God's good. One. My One of his businesses. The last question. Last question. Are you? Already? Yeah. Last oh, question. Nice. Has this pregnancy been easier? Yes, I think we, we answered that already. I think. Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of got into that one already. Yeah, I, I think that overall it has been easier, me seeing it from an outside perspective. And I'm pretty sure that I speak for both of us here. It's been easier for me, it's been easier for her. But like it's gone by so fast last that time we, you know, I'm like, what in the heck? Last time we checked, she was like three months pregnant, now she's six. Like I blinked and I'm six yeah. months pregnant. That's crazy. <laughs> that is really I'm crazy. You. I can't believe I'm having another baby coming out of my and whole then, heart. And then I'm gonna put a la last question in there. When is the third baby coming? Um, honey, we can talk about that after the second. <laughs> I haven't even given birth to the second. We can think about a third. We want like a. I said I. I, Maybe I think, I'm not trying to think about a third. I right think now. I, I think I think we want a girl next. Oh this is your conversation. <laughs> Are you, come on, join. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for asking all these questions. I hope that you guys enjoyed our little morning. Um, vlog and yeah I'm just gonna close out tonight like this that way we can just hang out and like take advantage as always KO and have some mom and dad time no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, <laughs> you see around this time we hang out on the couch we watch shows we look through Netflix TikToks and, 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 chill. and we just hang out <laughs> yeah, like you're not that I just say that <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay anyways i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below anything you want to comment down below we love you guys so much comment down video ideas how about that oh yeah please we need them keep them coming but anyways we love you guys so much god bless you Mwah. bye
Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video and spending a day with us. But before you go, we do have a very important but quick question to ask you guys. Before we ask you that question, I want to let you know that God loves you so much and he has an amazing plan for your life. But God forbid that you were to die this very second. Do you know without a shadow of a doubt that you go to heaven? See, the truth is that no one knows when we're going to die because tomorrow is never guaranteed. You can go to bed right now, lay your head on a pillow and never know if you'll wake up tomorrow. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. The Bible also says, for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you're a whosoever, right? Of course you are, we all are. I'm just gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer of blessing over your life. We're gonna pray for you guys. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless whoever's watching this video them and their family with long healthy lives i pray that you make yourself so real to them and you do a quick work in their heart if they have not received you yet as their lord and savior i pray that they do so right now so repeat after me with your heart and your lips out loud dear lord jesus come into my heart forgive me of my sins wash me and cleanse me set me free i thank you that you died for me i believe that you were risen from the dead and that you're coming back again for me fill me with your holy spirit give me a passion for the lost a hunger for the things of God and a boldness to preach your gospel. I'm saved, I'm born again, I am forgiven, and I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. If you prayed this prayer, we just want to let you guys know um, congratulations. Welcome to the family. Make sure you always run to God and not away from Him because He loves you so much and He has mm -hmm. an amazing plan for your life. We love you guys. God bless you. Bye. Peace.